Is OSHA training required? Safety and security training for all restaurant employees and all restaurant managers is required. To meet the standard, it must be continual and ongoing. It must be in writing and it must be comprehensive. It must also be written and presented in a manner that will help the learner reduce risks, identify hazards, and improve the safety and security of people and premises. However, as it is with nearly all government regulated programs, OSHA training specifically is a voluntary program. Confused yet? Safety, health, and security training in order to make all customers, employees, and vendors safe and in order to provide a safe and secure premises for everyone that enters is required by federal and state law. Despite this, restaurants are still America's most dangerous industry. Around eight people die per day in restaurant locations across the nation, and countless more are injured, harmed, sickened, maimed, or killed. We send our teenage children into some of the most hazardous environments on a daily basis. Do you think that if every single restaurant employee and manager had continual training in safety and security, that we would see so many casualties? Obviously, some restaurants do not take this requirement seriously. More easily stated and easily understood, you can do what you want pertaining to OSHA's safety, health, and security training until someone gets injured, harmed, sick, and maimed, or killed on your watch or within your premises. You can operate with any operating systems you like and run the business however you feel until something bad happens, and then you will be held responsible. It usually comes in the form of a lawsuit, a premises liability claim, a worker's comp claim, or some other form of suit or insurance claim. The lawyers will circle and the pressures and expenses will come to bear. If you do not have the reasonable and customary industry standard safety, health, and security training programs for your employees and management, you will lose the case and potentially hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars. OSHA has been federal law since 1971. And yes, all employees and employers must comply with either OSHA's training program or something similar that you created or purchased yourself in order to meet the standard. But like most laws, it is very confusing and causes people to argue whether or not they actually have to abide by those laws. That's how lawyers in the legal system across the United States ensure that lawyers continue to make big dollars on countless lawsuits. The easy answer is yes. All restaurants, all restaurant employees, and all restaurant managers and employers at every level have to comply. Think of it like the IRS and taxes. Every citizen is required to pay taxes and abide by every letter of the U.S. tax code. However, you are not required to use the official IRS resources to get your taxes done. Most people will use online services like TurboTax or utilize a tax preparation company like H&R Block. It accomplishes the ends that the IRS require just not through their official means. But if you don't take the advantages of these tools that are available to you and you get audited by the IRS, you could face massive fines or even jail time. That's why it's important to meet every standard of the law. Another example is driving. Before you can get your driver's license, you have to meet certain training and experience requirements. You can use the resources provided by your local DMV to gain this education, or you can use another means such as a high school driver's ed class or a private driving school. Regardless of how you gain the qualifications, you take the same test, and if you don't meet the standard, you won't get your license. Additionally, nobody's there to check if you have a license before you get into your car and drive. But if you aren't properly licensed and you get in a wreck or you get pulled over, there's a massive penalty. The same goes for OSHA. The government simply does not have enough resources to check and make sure every restaurant worker is OSHA trained and certified before they report to work in the morning. However, if an incident occurs in your restaurant and a court finds that all of the OSHA standards were not met, you're going to get nailed. Welcome to the confusing aspects of the law, which our CEO, Howard Cannon, has been dealing with for more than 30 years as a forensic expert in nearly 200 state and federal lawsuits pertaining to specifically these matters, where people are injured, harmed, sick and maimed, and killed in restaurants and bars. Restaurant OSHA Safety and Security was designed to make the very confusing less confusing, and to make OSHA Safety and Security training and testing restaurant industry specific and easier to chew and swallow. But nothing actually says that you have to use our training. For that matter, nothing says you have to use OSHA's training either. You should feel free to create your own training course. That will take you thousands of research hours and over 14 months to write, just like it did us. 
And you can't write just anything. It has to be at least as comprehensive, if not more comprehensive, than OSHA's own. Or you could just use our already created fully comprehensive program. What the law basically says is this. As an employer, you have to provide every employee, every manager, and every vendor doing business on your property the continual and ongoing safety and security training to reduce risk, to improve dangerous condition awareness and hazard recognition, and to provide a reasonably safe and secure place of business in place of employment for all that enter. So yes, you must comply with OSHA guidelines. Restaurant OSHA Safety and Security is here to help you do it.